in this video we're gonna be looking at how to create a liquid reveal motion graphic animation now i use this sphere as a shape to show how the liquid reveal looks like but you can use this same concept for any kind of text or any other shapes if you want to so without further ado let's just jump into it so at first we have our composition over here that I've already created. So the first thing I'll do is go to layer and create a solid background, which is going to be 1920 and 1080. And for the color, I'm going to choose this color, which is quite close to white. Once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to start working straight up with the circle, as I've mentioned earlier. So what I'll do is I'll get the ellipse tool. And from there, make sure that your layer isn't selected or it will make a mask over there instead. So I'll just deselect the layer and then I'll turn the stroke off and I'll just have the fill. So okay, I'll make a circle about around this size I guess. Make sure you're holding shift so that it's a proper circle and the width and height the same. So we're gonna align it and after that is done we're going to call it main circle. So with respect to the this layer we're, we're going to take all of the other layers which is going to do the real animation and make sure it follows this shape so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make another shape which is going to be a square we're using a rectangle tool my bad not a square but a rectangle and i'm going to make sure that it is wide enough like this and it covers the whole circle it, this is just to make sure that like it covers the whole circle so that when we're going to make the liquid animation it doesn't go overlap or do anything wrong so once that is done we're going to bring it all the way downwards and the next thing that we want to do is we're going, going to go to the light uh, effects and presets over here and then we're going to look for turbulence displays so we're going to drag this to our new rectangle and now we're gonna rename it to liquid one so that we do not get confused with it later. Over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play around with this. And before that, we're gonna choose the displacement to be a twist. So once it's a twist, it looks way more like a liquid form. And now we're going to increase the amount of it to see how it looks like. And it'll look something like this. And once that is done, you can also mess up with the size if you want to. But I want a lot of variation, like so I'll just keep it to around 123 maybe. The next thing we want to do is we're going to work on the evolution so that it keeps on changing the waves. So how do we do that? Basically what we do is hold, press and hold, let alter key and then press on the time keyframe over here for the evolution. Once we do that, we're going to just change this code to time into 200. So once that is done, we can see that now it's going on, the animation is going on forever. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the position for this one. So we're going to hit simply hit P on our keyboard and then start working on the position. I believe that we're not going to start from here because as you can see that the wave is a bit Start from that side so i'll start from this position and after after that around let's take 10 seconds for now uh we're going to drag this position all the way over here so to make sure that it gets the whole thing okay so the next thing would be is to make this liquid in the shape of this circle right here so how do we do that we just get something called mat and it's called set mat as you can see over here so we're going to drag the set mat on the liquid one and if you observe right now that it's going to show us something like this take mat from layer so we're going to specify the layer which it's going to use for the mat we're gonna specify it to the main circle and once that is done, you can see that it disappeared. So now what we can do is we can completely move the main circle and see what happens. As you can see, there's a wave going on and this liquid is rising up. 
vigorously and then goes up all the way over here and then it completes so from that point onwards what we're gonna do is we're going to add more of these liquids so it's simply just duplicating this layer and then playing around with their start starting time so we're going to duplicate it once twice and twice so we have four layers so press Control b while selecting the layer and duplicate it so once that is done what we're gonna do is we're gonna mute all of these except for the liquid 2 um we're gonna start with the liquid 2 first and see where this purple one goes so we wanted to start once this gets the first liquid gets a bit bulk and we can visibly see it so that it makes it more interesting so maybe have a, around that point i'll change the color of it first so for this one i'm gonna put the color of def one three c around that so you can see that they, this is a yellow color kind of neonish so we're gonna drag it so if you see that if you mess with the starting point of this its position is changing because we animated the position before so right now we're gonna take it a bit more downwards so that it has a gap from there and as you can see that when it rises like that it goes just like that and then they're both going up so we're gonna add a few more variations to it as you can see that we added it around one what is this frame 157 so maybe around over here uh, i'm going to start with the new one liquid 3 i'm going to unmute it so come a bit further and as you can see that this is a different color over here we're going to change the color of it to fd to 37a so we have a new color now and i believe it should have a bigger gap on the last one so it'll look like the, this but hmm, a bit left i guess so you can play around with this and take your time to make it look better so once that is done we have our last one and if you notice this purple i'm actually going to change this one this color i'm going to it's going to be the last one's color so i'm going to change this one to a 770df and so unless, once that is done i'm going to unmute the new one and bring it all the way here or around here i guess let's see how it looks like when it goes a bit further okay so increase the gap a bit and then it goes up like that and then it completes a soft over here okay pretty cool so if you notice that this still keeps on going and it's still wobbling just like a liquid as it should but we do not want that we want it to stop at one certain point um, as i'm seeing after like working with the uh, size of the shape that it becomes complete in a few certain points if you notice that around here it's like a complete circle so at this point what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go head over to the liquid four and as you can see that over here i have the displacement and amount all of those for it i'm actually going to change its amount so that to make sure that it does not have that animation anymore going on so i'm going to press on the keyframe and then if you double click it using your lock mouse button you'll see that we have a keyframe over here for it now so we want it to finish here and not move it anymore so i'm going to drag this keyframe a bit to the back side and then I'm gonna zoom in a bit more to this okay over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the amount to a zero so over here if you look at it now you can see that it goes like that for a while and then completely vanishes and then we do not have that animation anymore so before that it goes up and does this for a while and then goes off so that's what we want to want it to achieve 
and for now we're just going to give it a little bit of easy ease and once that is done we are going to make sure that we have the motion blur enabled for all the four liquids so once that is done let's take a look at how it looks like right now so here's the preview of what it looks like right now as you can see the liquid is moving and then it goes up and then the other one joins and the third one and then the fourth one uh this got me thinking i guess the position is very slow the way it's moving so i guess i'll work on the position so get all the layers and then once there we see the positions what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply select all of the last keyframes and speed up the process so that we end it by maybe around 10 seconds and um, keep that in mind that we also need to decrease the size of this for the liquid fork so once that is done um let's have a look at how it looks like okay so we need to also mess with this thing over here and start it soon okay over here maybe the next one and the next one starts okay maybe it should start a bit early this this and that okay and then over here i'm gonna start the last one okay this one So once that is done, we also need to change the amount back to where it was with the position. So maybe we have to find the position here, can we see? Okay, so this one looks good enough. I'm just going to move this to this side. Alright, okay, so this is what the new one looks like. So you go to that one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And fill the whole thing up. Pretty cool. And now we're gonna select all of these liquids, put it into a pre composition because we want to work on making it look a bit more realistic, like a sphere. So, once that is done, we're going to go to the drop down menu and then right click on it. And then we're gonna look for layer style and activate bevel and emboss. So, once that is there, we're gonna open the drop down and look at all the properties that they have and come over to a place where we can see the whole thing in a circle once that's visible what we're gonna play with here is only a few things which is basically the size the size is gonna go to a max and put it on to 250 so i'll stick with that and then we're gonna reduce the opacity of the highlight and the shadow so maybe bring the highlight to around 30 and the opacity of the shadow around 23. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, in this case I will use the opacity of the highlight a bit more. Not make it 25 around that. And then let's see how it looks like. Just around 25 maybe. All right, so this is the new result that we have. Goes up, third one joins, the foot one joins, and that's how it ends. So it's pretty cool. So now, uh, if you notice, there might be a few times where you might not be happy with the outcome of the wave, but you can totally fix that if you go to your properties for it. For an example, over here, you can see that the red one is actually a bit flashing over here if you see there's a spot so you can work on that if you want to by simply just going on to the amount and fixing those amounts up yeah. so if you fix this amount a bit you'll see that it completely fixes itself so you can play with the amount if you want little or more waves to be there you can play around with the size so all of those are available to you depending on how you want to do it 
so yeah that's all for me i hope you guys learned something new today i'll see you in the next one choose